Before you grab that cup of coffee, you see it. This marks the initial step in the sensation response pathway. Then, as you pick up the cup, you sense its warmth against your cold hands. This is part of the sensory division, also known as the sensory or afferent nervous system. Sensation involves the excitation of sensory receptors by stimuli from the internal and external environment, followed by the transmission of this information to the central nervous system for processing. A receptor cell is a molecule, often a protein, that receives and transduces stimuli. These stimuli are then converted into electrical signals. There are various types of receptors, specific to different modalities or types of sensations. So for instance, photoreceptors respond to light, while nociceptors detect stimuli which are potentially harmful or noxious and often result in pain. There are also thermoreceptors that, as you can probably guess by their name, respond to changes in temperature. Sensory inputs are carried by the afferent division of the peripheral nervous system, meaning sensation is carried towards the central nervous system. Now, depending on where they originate and what type of information is involved, sensory or afferent signals can be defined according to three classifications, somatic sensory, visceral sensory, and special sensory. The somatic sensory division consists of neurons that carry signals generally associated with the sense of touch, temperature, pain and body position from various parts of the body, such as muscles, bones, skin and joints, carrying signals like, ouch, that coffee is really hot, something just slithered over my foot, or knowing your hands are in front of your face even when your eyes are closed. This visceral sensory division comprises neurons transmitting signals from internal organs like your lungs, stomach, urinary bladder, and any other internal organ you can think of. We're talking about sensations like, my bladder is really full, or I ate far too much for dinner. Receptors in the special sensory division are located in specific organs like the oral cavity, nose, eyes, and ears, and transmit more specialized sensorial information about the special senses. The sight of the coffee cup, the taste of the espresso shot, the smell of the coffee shop, the sound of the coffee grinder, and your ability to balance your body while walking towards the coffee counter. I will note that some resources alternatively list the special senses of sight, hearing, balance, and smell as components of the somatic sensory division, with taste belonging to the visceral sensory division. Just to mention, in case this alternative classification comes across your path sometime. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.